Hi everybody, with the release of 1.09 on DAISY on PC, console, Xbox, PlayStation, you can now make one of these beauties a flagpole with a flag on, but it also has the practical um, application of extending the um, permanence of the uh, base that is uh, surrounding the flagpole. So the idea is that if you put a flagpole up, the base that you build around it or you put up the flagpole in the middle of the base um, won't disappear over time because you know at the moment you've got to run around and you've got to look at everything to make sure that you know in 45 days time it doesn't start despawning um, the flagpole will, will help stop that happening and the way that you'll know as well is that the flag will actually as your base gets closer to despawning the flag will slowly come down and down and down and down and down and then when you interact with the flag again it will go up and you'll know that your base is safe but how do you make one of the, these things well you need lots of stuff um, and this is the theory of making it now I have actually made a flagpole on my PC test server but unfortunately I can't seem to get into it at the moment it keep, keeps crashing not quite sure why so I thought we'd do a theory video and then I'll do a practical video afterwards. So to start off with, if you want to make a flagpole, the first thing you want to make is a flagpole kit. And don't worry, I'll put links to all these instructions in the uh, YouTube description down below the video. And to make a flagpole kit, you need some rope, you need three sticks, and if you combine them, one of the options you'll get is to make a flagpole kit. Once you've got your flagpole kit, find a suitable piece of flat land, and you can start thinking about making your flagpole. Now the flagpole requires uh, quite a few tools and <laughs> requires an awful lot of resources as well. So you want to find yourself a, sh a sledgehammer and a shovel or you know a pickaxe, hammer, a hatchet, um, that sort of stuff. And you're going to need, to give you an idea, 10 wooden logs, not too difficult, 32 stones... When was the last time you saw a stone lying around in in Daisy? I'd imagine maybe there's more of them spawning in, or you grab yourself a pickaxe and head over to the nearest rock and make some stones. And this is big stones, not the little ones, not the ones that you make knives out of. These are big ones. You're going to need 60 nails. Well, that's a box, isn't it? You're going to need some metal wire, and you're going to need some rope. So the first thing you do is you you put your your, your kit down, you know, so it's the sticks with the string on. And then you plonk down a wood, a, a log, uh, a wooden log sort of near it. And then if you go into your, your options, you know, your inventory, so not your options, the inventory screen. On the left-hand side, you'll see the base will be there. And then you place the wood, you know, move the wood from the ground into the into the base. Or if the wood's in your hand, you know, then move it into the base. You know, there'll be a little slot in the base. And then you come out of that. And then you, you with your sledgehammer, you, that, that will then give with a sledgehammer in your hand, it'll then give you the option to make the base. It'll go dong, 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 and then you'll have a vertical log sticking up out of the ground. So the next thing you need to do is create the support around the log to which we're going to attach the pole. Now, to, to make this, we need six more wooden logs, so plunk them on the ground near, near the pole, and we're going to need those 32 stones, and we're going to have to have a shovel or a pickaxe. So Plonk, plonk the stones near it and then go in again go into the inventory and then on the left hand side you'll see a slot opened up for support and at this point you know you can chuck all the stones in um, and you can chuck all the wood in as well and then come out of it have the spade in your hand and that will then give you the option to create the support and then what you'll see in front of you is you'll see a vertical log surrounded by stones so the next thing you can make is the actual pole itself. So this is where you need three more wooden logs and 60 nails, uh, the metal wire and the rope. So you gather those things together, have them around the base. You know, you can either have some of them in your backpack or in your hands or just on the floor uh, close to it. Again, go into your invention on the left-hand side, you'll see a slot underneath the pole. Well, you see underneath the pole, you'll see the slots with the different bits and you just drop all the wooden logs in there, drop all the nails in there, drop the metal, metal wire and the rope into there. Um, and then when you come out of it and you've got a hammer in your hand or a hatchet, it'll then give you the option to... <laughs> and you'll make the pole, and the pole will be there. So the next thing you can do is if you then find a flag... Now, from what I understand is you have to find flags. You can't craft them. Um, but you get your flag, you put it in your hand, and then you get near the pole, and you give the option to hoist the pole. And then you hoist the pole, 
and that is it that it's done so that will then affect all the other stuff you build around it for quite a long large area I heard I've, I think 60 meters but that might be wrong so the idea is that whenever you come back to your base just go up to your flagpole take a look at it maybe interact with a flag a bit and that will then refresh the persistence of all the other things in your base and you won't have to worry about them disappearing um, and there's lots of different flags apparently you can find um, and you'll end up with um, yeah this cool flag <laughs> that flaps in the wind as well okay so that's the theory and i have made one but as i say when i keep going into my daisy server it keeps keeps crashing but i will do a practical version of this video where, where i kind of walk you through it but um i guess um if you click on the links below the video when you come around to actually making a flag pole and putting a flag on it that will kind of guide you through as well Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully that's useful. If you've enjoyed it, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.